Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy What day is today? Happy Tuesday. I really had to check because these days I do not know which is which in terms of the days. But happy Tuesday. It's currently 5:25 p.m. and today was not that much of a productive day. I'm not even going to lie. I'm wearing the man's shirts, even though I came on here dragging him the other day, that his shirt is ugly, which it's not. I'm just out of pocket, as it seems. But um, today was not productive at all. This morning we slept in, because this morning he did not pick up an extra shift, so we had a few more moments of cuddles, which I absolutely love those mornings. The mornings where we get to cuddle for a little bit, 30 minutes even, love those. So we did that this morning. Last night was kind of a late night for both of us because I ended up, we went to the city together and then when we came off, he went to see his mom. Which I, I, I said, you know, maybe go see your mom because she's in town or whatever. So, you know, go see her, say hi quickly. I'm just sitting outside in the car. <laughs> it's a long story. Oh my God, it's a long story. Um, I don't know. I think it's a long story. So I said, you know, go see your mom. I'm gonna sit outside in the car because I expected it to be like a quick little interaction. Hi mom, how are you? Just checking in on you. I'm going home from work. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Didn't turn out that way. He ended up staying in there for an hour and a half. And I was mad as hell. And I was promised some food why I even went to begin with. And I said I wanted some Chipotle. Chipotle was locked because he stayed in there for too long and where we were there were crackheads and prostitutes outside that I'm like listen I see a man and he went into the bushes and he's been in there for an hour I'm scared so either come get me or let's go home and he was like okay I'm coming and that didn't that was not true he ended up staying in there for another 45 minutes I wasn't really mad when he came out to but I'm like you really got me messed up because I've been sitting out here for an hour and a half, even though I initiated you going to see your mom, it was supposed to be quick, because you know I'm out here in the car. Anyways, that was just a nightmare. So we ended up going to Chipotle, and he realized that Chipotle was closed. Now I'm even more mad, because that's what I wanted. But then I decided in my head, you know, whatever, I'm going to just go home and eat. So he asked me, you know, is there anything else that you would have wanted? And I'm like, no, I just want to go home. And he ended up pulling up to Checkers. All this time, I'm texting my sister's boyfriend, and I'm like, bro, he's going to Checkers. He's winning some points here. <laughs> We're dying. And so we ended up going to Checkers, and we got two bacon zillas, and we just sat there in the car and just ate it. And then we came home and drove around for upwards of 30 minutes looking for parking. So damn ridiculous. Hate it. But what can we do? But, um, yes. That was a little recap of yesterday. <clears throat> so that happened. And this morning we cuddled for a little bit. He made breakfast. I told him that I was hungry and he got up and made breakfast because I think I made the day before. Is that true? Maybe. I don't know. Can't remember. So he made breakfast and then um, we ate together and then he had to leave for work. So I decided that I would have like met up with him later when it's time for him to like leave work or like a little bit around the time when it's time for him to leave work. But it's... It's hot, okay? I was planning that I would have left at 5 p.m. Right now it's 5.30 p.m. and it's hot. I can feel it being so hot outside from sitting right here and I don't have the air on because obviously I'm talking to you guys, but it's too hot for that. I even had my phone charging and everything. As we're on the topic of my phone, isn't my phone case super cute? So, so cute. But um, I don't think I'm gonna end up going anymore. So many things are going on. What I ended up doing today after we had breakfast, I clipped the ends of my hair so they're supposed to look a little bit more even I don't know if when it's in the curly state it shows that anything is done to it it also looks like I barely have hair on my head I'm gonna insert a video right here of before I cut and wash my hair today and now when it's in a bun well not a bun like a ponytail but curly you know looks like I don't have hair on my head but it was such an impulsive just clipping off the ends too because I felt like I'm gonna show you guys the other day when I just straightened it and today before I cut it 
the ends just look a little straggly and like they were struggling so i'm like whatever and my friend did say she was gonna come over to cut it but when i tagged her in my insta story the other day i was just joking and i didn't want her to go out of her way to like come do that so i said no i'm just i was just joking like i don't really care but when i was looking at it today i'm like mm, i'm gonna cut it back to going to work and meeting him when it's almost time for him to come home because obviously i'm bored out of my mind especially considering the fact that I still have a few more days before I have to go back to work. I'm just bored, but it's too hot to do anything else. It's too hot to even talk to you guys right now. But you know, we're here. But I do not think I'm gonna end up going down there anymore, honestly, because I, I cannot, I can barely breathe right now as I'm sitting here talking. How am I gonna survive outside in this heat? I'm not. It is ghetto. It's not even a joke. But I'm not gonna be going down there to be wandering around at like 7 p.m. Because I was saying, you know, maybe as um, the nighttime approaches, it would like cool down a little bit. But it's not looking too great for that, to be completely honest. 6.40. Whatever's done. Okay, I'm going to have to go to work. I know I messed up these times. But I don't know. Maybe I'll still go. If I'm feeling bored and feel like I literally need to get outside of this apartment, I probably will go. If not, I'm going to stay here. But I really am so bored inside here, though. I feel like I could do with leaving, but is it worth it? Not exactly. My hair feels so nice now that I washed it too. <clears throat> but um, this was me just saying hi because right now I'm in a full-blown conversation with my friend and she sent four voice messages that are all of maybe three minutes long. So I'm going to have to be an active participant in the conversation. So later y'all, if, if I go, I will be complaining on my Insta stories. You guys should follow me on Instagram so you can be update, up to date with like whatever is happening in like real time. But if I go, maybe you guys will see. If not, 